Hi everyone, especially you, the guy who sent me those PMs recently. I'm not going to give out your name since it was a private message, but uh, yeah, let's um, let's uh, address the things you asked. What I thought was really interesting about the the questions you asked me was that you um, you started out by asking about uh, how to address uh, certain types of stupid and uh, it, it, it just it seems like this is stuff that everyone should know but not everyone does so uh, yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna do this how do you address people who um, who say that uh, their bullshit is true because, hey, you can't prove it's impossible. Science can't prove it's impossible. You see, science just, uh, you know, science changes over time. So it's, uh, it's never going to prove anything wrong completely because it could be science that's wrong. It's been wrong before. Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely true. And that's why you shouldn't argue that um, uh, whatever someone says is wrong, you should instead take the position, uh, can you prove that this is right? You should put the burden of proof on the person making the claim because that's where it belongs. Uh, if you, to, to use an example, if someone is talking about ghosts, he says he can prove that there are ghosts. He's heard weird sounds in a supposedly haunted house, and he's he's picked up uh, strange electromagnetic fields that he can't explain. Uh, okay, uh, it's not up to you to prove that it wasn't a ghost. It's up to him to demonstrate that it was a ghost. Because all you need to do is point out that electromagnetic fields can be caused by things other than ghosts. In fact, we don't know of a single ghost that has ever been detected, so we don't know that ghosts cause electromagnetic fields. So, so we have absolutely no reason to take this guy's claim seriously. And that's all you need to point out. The idea of uh, someone saying, uh, you can't prove me wrong. Well, I don't care if I can prove someone wrong. If he can't prove that he's right, uh, shut up. If he, if he can't prove that he's right, if he's got nothing, if all he can say is, you can't prove that I'm wrong. I mean, all he has is an argument from ignorance. And that's, that's not going to get him anywhere. So um, point that out. That's all you have to do. Okay, so moving on to your next point. Uh, you, uh, you talked a bit about quantum mechanics. And uh, yeah, it's weird. It's uh, strange. And a lot of people take advantage of that since no one understands it, it seems. Uh, people can claim they understand it and make up whatever bullshit they feel like. That's basically how quantum mechanics is being used, unfortunately. And the trick is to spot the bullshit. And how do you spot the bullshit? Well, are they talking about tiny particles? Are they talking about subatomic particles? Are they talking about uh, waves? Uh, as in the physical phenomenon of waves? Well, if not, then... I mean, if they're talking about thoughts and consciousness and spiritual mumbo-jumbo, then it's not quantum physics. It's just they're they're trying to use it to justify some religious crap. Uh, also, quantum physics is a science, and as such, it makes 
I should say it's scientific and as such it makes testable predictions. What that means is anyone who makes claims should be able to propose a way to falsify those claims. If he can't, he's got nothing. Moving on, let's see, what else did you talk about? You talked about the meaning of the word theory in a way that made me feel like I need to address this because uh, you don't seem to understand what a theory is. A theory is an explanatory model that uh, explains a, a wide range of phenomena uh, that makes testable predictions and that is supported by a lot of evidence. So a theory is not some sort of, you know, uh, I think what you said was Einstein and Bohr were just arguing philosophy. And then along came others and made the actual experiments that, you know, that, you know, others did the actual science. Well, the theory is part of the actual science. In fact, it's the important part uh, because it's the theory that allows us to make sense of experiments. Without theories, experiments are just data points. So uh, don't, don't ever even imply that there is such a thing as just a theory. It's not just a theory, it's a theory. And that's the highest status there is in science. Okay, now what do we have? Um, oh, I should have taken notes. You you also brought up uh, oh yeah that people who know this stuff and can spot the stupid don't actually do that. And that's something that I have um, uh, and something that I really don't like. Let's just put it that way. It's one of the reasons why I'm on YouTube instead of just in front of a class. I think that it's basically like this. Here you have the layman. And here you have the scientists. And the scientists want to make science advance. And you have the stupid bullshit uh, con artists and pseudoscience peddlers. Well, why do I even distinguish between the two? Who want to do this. So if everyone gets their way, what happens is the gap between scientists and laymen increases. And that leads to laymen mistrusting science even more. Now... Obviously, the solution is not that scientists should stop trying to advance. The solution is we need people out there educating the public and taking the fight to wherever it's fought, such as YouTube, which is a forum for spreading all kinds of stupid ideas. Well, so let's let's have people who actually know what they're talking about go on YouTube and blogs and forums and actually start poning morons. That's what needs to be done. And that's what is being done. And I think it is having some effect. I mean, it's, it's having more of an effect than if we didn't do it. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know uh, if, I, uh, if I have anything more to add. I think I've covered most of your questions. If you have any more, you know, specific questions, uh, some of the things you, you said were just basically uh, points you brought up. They weren't actually questions. I don't really know how to respond to them. Uh, but uh, feel free to ask more questions and uh, I'll try to answer them. See ya.